sexual transmitted disease, HIV, AIDS. What is all of that? How? So, hello guys, it's me, Hila Sahari, again with another interesting sharing in none other than iParamacy YouTube channel. Okay, so today I'm going to share a very interesting sharing that some of you might think of as sensitive, some might be familiar, and some might don't even know. But as we move forward to the new century, it can be considered as important, especially in removing um, the stigma and the stereotype that have been circulating in our society. It is important uh, for the new generation to know more about this disease so that the cycle can be prevented as it is not the end of everything and the main threats of HIV and AIDS can be stopped. Okay, back to our main discussion today. What is STD? STD stands for sexual transmitted disease. STDs are a group of diseases that are usually transmitted from one partner to another during the sexual intercourse, according to Perera ETL 2014. The group of diseases includes herpes, syphilis, HPV, chlamydia, gonorrhea, trichomoniasis, HIV, and more. Do you know that according to the World Health Organization, who more than a million people acquire STD every day, moreover, these diseases do stay on your body for a lifetime. Okay, bet you're invested to know more. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, do you know that those who are infected with the sexual transmitted disease often receive a different treatment from people around them? In some cases, these people are being denied job opportunities, being pushed away from the society for the wrong stigma that has been lingering around our society for so long. This is due uh, to people thinking that this disease can be easily spread through airborne touches as well as daily activities that they do on the daily basis, which scare them the most. Okay? Thus, it is important for us to get to know about the disease, how it spread, ways to avoid, and more. This is because each sexual transmitted disease is different and some of them even curable. Moving on to the main agenda. So, as being stated earlier, there are multiple types of STD which include herpes, chlamydia, gonorrhea, trichomoniasis, HPV, HIV, and more. But what is all of that? Okay. So you don't have to worry, let me explain generally some of these STD diseases to you, okay? Okay, so firstly, most of these diseases are spread through the sexual intercourse between two or more individuals. Again, I would like to highlight that through the sexual intercourse between partners, okay? Hence, there is no such thing such as STD can be spread through touches, sharing foods, or even airborne transmitted disease. This is because most of the viruses and bacteria from these diseases have a very short lifespan outside of the body. Okay? For instance, herpes simplex virus that causes herpes, bacteria that causes gonorrhea and more. Okay? This is why it is important for us to have this kind of knowledge to stop the stereotypes that have been lingering on our society. Okay, so Apart from that, there are also a cure for certain types of STDs such as vaccine, medication, antiviral, and more. As an example, human papil papilloma virus HPV have a visible vaccine in order to prevent this specific STD. Meanwhile, chlamydia and gonorrhea have their own specific antibiotics to cure uh, the diseases. Okay, so hence it is better for us to have this kind of knowledge to avoid this diseases and to seek help while it is on the early stages okay however I would also want to highlight that some of this disease shall bring a permanent health condition to certain people as some of the virus tend to stay in your body um, even after you're fully recovered from the diseases okay there are some cases that these viruses shall cause health effects such as cancer, tumor, heart damage, and more. I know that sounds that sound really scary, but extensive care and measures can be taken by the people in order to avoid getting these diseases, okay? Do you know that there's a ways to avoid from getting infected by acid? 
So, jajang! According to the article that had been provided by Who in 2019, prevention starts with the most basic sexual education regarding these kind of possibilities if one commit unprotected sex. Okay? So, I know that sexual education might sound sensitive in our country, but trust me, with the current trend of our media technology, with thousands of ideation in the society, it is a must for the new generation to know about this knowledge. This knowledge is not merely teaching about the human reproductive system, systems, but it focuses about the sexual health, hygiene, sexual diseases, and more. How can it be sensitive if uh, we are explaining about human well-being, right? Okay. So, apart from that, another way to avoid from getting infected by STD is to practice safe sex and if you're sexually active, please do take some prevention measures such as medication, um, PrEP and PAP, okay? Why do we need a safety measure? This is because STD does affect your life. According to the study that have conducted by ULA in 2011, STD does affect the way of life, such as uh, it affects the system of your body as some of them do harm your body, okay? That is on the medical aspect. Apart from that, the stigma and stereotype among the people here in Malaysia is very concerning as the people that were being infected often given bad insight. This includes being denied to go to work um, as the people afraid that the diseases will affect them as well. There are a lot of scenarios where the people who are infected were treated badly in their hospital itself when seeking for treatment. Hence, based on this, uh, the stigma needs to be stopped as soon as possible as this will only make everything worse. Oh, before we move to the next topic, I have a very interesting sharing from the outreach worker here in Malacca. Without further ado, let's go! Hello Hila, thank you so much for the floor for me to give a few opinions uh, or sharing about STD. The first thing that I want you to remind the audience is to always check your status if you are sexually active or not. This is not only for yourself but also for your partner. This is because STD is not something that you can uh, simply uh, belittle as the chain will go around and around like cycle. Next, for those who might have uh, this STD, please, please, and please seek for the treatment. As now there are a lot of outreach here in Malaysia, there are treatments uh, for you here. Okay, you don't have to be shy or even scared with us. Our number one priority is to get you healthy and to stop the STD cycle here in the community. Okay. Okay, last but not least, I would also like to highlight that please do practice a safe sexual intercourse as it prevention uh, always comes first. No matter what disease you have, please try your best to do the uh, prevention step as being suggested by KKM. And if you are sexually active, uh, you can come also to us to take uh, PrEP and also PAP as a prevention of any sexual disease. Thank you so much everyone and please be safe. Okay. Thank you for your sharing, but hold on, hold on. Okay, so what is PrEP and PAP as being stated by uh, the outreach members just now? So according to the research that have been done by Center for Diseases Control and Prevention CDC in 2021, PrEP or pre-exposure prophylaxis is a medicine that can prevent HIV. PrEP is for the people who are HIV negative and at risk of getting HIV. PrEP is highly effective for preventing HIV. Apart from that, PAP is another measure of HIV prevention, the post-exposure prophylaxis. PAP usually is taken when individuals is exposed to the virus. PAP needs to be taken in 72 hours or 3 days after the exposure of HIV. Hence, it is possible for us to reach the MDG goals in combating HIV and AIDS if this knowledge were able to reach the society. Oh no, we have come to the end of our video today. Again, I want to remind each and every one of you of my 
Giri's view is that SCD are not the end of everything and the measure that come with it must be taken seriously. I believe that by having a proper sex education among the people in our society, we can manage in combating the HIV and AIDS from being spread and to stop the cycle completely. I would also want to remind my brother and sister out there for not to discriminate those who are infected by the STD. Always provide them moral support and care, okay? And for those who are new to this kind of discussion, I would like to say my deepest sorry for this video, but it is nothing uh, but to educate other society. I think my time is up. Keep smiling, stay positive, and stay healthy. I'm Hila Sari, signing off.